Hey everybody, it's good to see you again today. We have very exciting and fun things that we are gonna to do today. So let's get started right away. The first thing that we always do is we light our candle. So I'm gonna go ahead and light mine. And if you have one at home, you could light yours now too. And as always, when we light our candle, we remember that Jesus is with us and lighting up even the dark places in our lives. The other thing that we've been reminded by the candle is about the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came upon the believers with fire that didn't damage, but that showed them the way to tell others about Jesus in all different languages. And that was a pretty special thing for us to experience as well. So the other thing that we always do is we look around to the people that are with us and we remind them that they are a blessing and that it is a blessing for us to get an opportunity to be together. So grab those people and give them a hug or a squeeze and let them know that you are happy that you have the opportunity to enjoy worship with them today. Now for Sunday school, we have some fantastic Sunday school storytellers again this week, and I'm so excited about it. So let me tell you a little bit about what you're going to see in their video. There's three different parts. So see if you can identify the three parts. The first part, we do a little art project. And this is gonna be in your PDFs as well, in your Sunday School PDF. And this is Paul, the Apostle Paul. And so we made this Paul puppet together, and then we use it to tell the story of Paul in a puppet show. So that's the first part that you're gonna see. The second part, of our video has to do with a little bit of a science experiment. So if you have some Elmer's glue at home, you could do this experiment too, because what we did is we put Elmer's glue on our palms and then we let it dry. And the reason we did that is because in the story of the Apostle Paul, which you'll hear in just a minute, it talks about how he was blind and when he was able to see again, something like scales dripped out of his eyes. And when you pull glue after it's dried off of your hand or any other part of your body, it looks a little bit like scales and it's pretty fun to see. So watch out for that. And then watch as our storytellers do an amazing job with their stick puppets at telling the story of how somebody named Saul who was very mean to the Christians, became Paul, who was one of the very best people to tell the rest of the world about Jesus. It's pretty great, let's take a look. This guy's name is Paul. And Paul would actually have not looked very much like Santa Claus, which is I think what he looks like in our picture. Where did Paul live, Glenn? Paul? No, Santa Claus! Yeah, this is Paul. Yeah. And Paul lived in lots of different places because Paul was what was called a missionary. And missionaries are people that travel all over the world and tell people about Jesus. And this is, would be Paul when he was older. So Paul did this for lots of years. Many years, more years probably than your mama has even been alive. Paul was at the whole missionary thing for a very long time. And do you know what? Sometimes Paul got in trouble for telling people about Jesus. Oh, goodness. And um, people sometimes told him that he had to leave town because they didn't like what he was saying. And Paul said, well, that's okay. I'll just go to a different town. My Mommy, Paul is going to have a gray beard. How many colors do you want to use on yours, Ella? Um, like... A lot more. A lot more, okay.
I'm gonna do something that you can do too if you want, but if it weirds you out, you don't have to do it, okay? Okay. Okay, so there's a part in the story where things fall out of Paul's eyes, and it's like scales falling out of his eyes, which oh. is a little weird, right? So I'm going to do something on my hands that then we can pretend that it's like scales. Okay? So this is just glue. All right? Okay. I'm going to put glue on my hands. Do you want glue on your hands? No. Yeah. No. That is, I told you, it's totally up to you. So do you want me to put a little glue on your hands? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. And glue dries on skin pretty fast. So give me your hand. And here's the thing. While it's drying, I just want you to sit like this. Can you sit with, make with your hand right there? Put your hand right there. <gasps> Perfect. Leave it open. Open it up. Open your fingers, all of them down. Oh, there. Now can you just leave it like that? And I'm gonna have it on my hands while we read the story. And then we're gonna see what happens with the glue. Okay? Okay. Kind of like having lotion on your hands, only you don't rub it in all the way. A little more. This is like an experiment, like we're being scientists a little bit. So there's our glue. I'm gonna put it back in there. And now I'm just gonna leave that. And we'll see what happens, okay? Yep, you and me both. We're just leaving it, all right? Here is what those scales look like when we pull them off our hand. Okay. There we go. We got almost all of it off. So now, let's read our story, shall we? Saul. Can you hold up Saul? Which one is Saul? There we go. Saul did not believe Jesus was the Messiah. He wanted everyone to stop teaching about Jesus. Saul was traveling to Damascus to arrest believers and throw them in jail. <gasps> stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you make Saul? Good job, stomp, stomp, stomp. Went to Saul's feet. Then flash, a bright light from heaven knocked him to the ground. Very good job. What was that, yelled Saul. Saul heard a voice rumble. Saul, why are you against me? Saul, why are you against me? What are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you, Saul asked. Who are you? The voice rumbled again. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Go to Damascus. Go to Damascus. And I will tell you what to do. And I will tell you what to do. Saul opened his eyes, but he couldn't see. Now Saul was scared. What's happening to me? Saul's friends helped him stand up. They brushed the dirt from his robes and led him to Damascus. Saul waited and waited without sight for three days. A believer named Ananias lived in Damascus. God told Ananias, go to Straight Street to help Saul. But Ananias knew Saul was cruel to believers, and he was scared. If you say so, I will go, said Ananias. Ananias found Saul and laid his hands on him. Jesus sent me to you so you could see and be filled with the Holy Spirit, Ananias told Saul. As soon as Ananias spoke, Scales fell off of Saul's eyes. Saul could see. Saul's life was changed. Saul used to hurt believers, but now he told everyone, Jesus really is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. Very good job. Yay. Let's have a big round of applause for our puppeteers. Yay. I hope you loved our special storytellers today. And I want to thank one more time, hugely thank Miss um, Taylor 
and Aiden and Ella for helping us tell our story and for helping us have our little science experiment and for showing us how easy it was to make a super awesome stick puppet. Shall we pray? Holy God, thank you for our friends that help us tell stories. Thank you for the story of Paul that we learned somebody can start out with one opinion and when they learn something new, they learn to do something new. May we all remember that as we learn and grow, our opinions can change. In your name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.